Happy birthday, Libra! This is Stephanie with the Whispering Dragonfly coming to you with your spirit messages for October 2020. This is for Libra Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. Please do like, share, subscribe, hit the bell button. All of those things really help my channel to expand and grow. Also, if you'd like to leave a tip or um, schedule a private session, all of that information is in the description box below. Aloha! Aloha Libra, this is Stephanie with the Whispering Dragonfly coming to you with your spirit messages for October 2020. This is a general read for um, Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs, okay? So please do like, share, subscribe, all those good things really help my channel to grow and expand and I do appreciate you. And let's get to it here, Libra. October 2020. So Libra, you got Mercury, which is open communication. Get the weight off your chest, speak up with love, and be heard, Libra. And happy birthday to you, Libra. <laughs> happy, happy birthday. It's Libra season. So this is showing um, just what it says. Allow Mercury to help you to communicate. So open communications. I think sometimes Libra... Um, you want things to be balanced in a certain way and sometimes you don't say what you're feeling um, and this is a time where spirit's saying hey speak up say what's been on your heart and what's been in your mind um, do so with love but speak up and say something um, i think sometimes it's it's hard to say something when it's maybe a loved one or something that's been more of a challenge to express um, but the energies are such that you're going to be able to express what you need to with love and kindness. And go from there. All right, let's get the rest of the cards on the table. All right, one more. Okay, that's funny. So we have luminescence. So actually, Gemini got this too. So if you have Gemini rising or um, moon, then maybe watch that video as well. So luminescence, this open communication is helping you with self-love. Luminescence is that glow-in-the-dark quality, okay? This is the self-love, um, healing your heart, expanding in love, expanding the brightness of your glow, that you even glow in the dark, okay? Um, this is saying um, there's, you know, little dragonflies on this card. Let's see, can you see that? So they're going to take you into um, your spirit. They're going to take you into a great change. And what's being shown is that um, Mercury is asking you to um, communicate effectively. It's asking you to communicate openly. And this is for you to have your own self-worth and self-love. Um, so if someone has, because um, I feel like month of October here, Libra, because you have the moon that came out. So I feel like you're breaking through illusions. We have seven of wands. So you've had some spiritual lessons that have occurred um, in regards to your passion, in regards to how you um, move forward in light life and I do feel like with the moon card coming out first it's like there's been some illusions around um, both yourself and the relationships that you have okay um, yeah okay yeah great so by the end of the month uh, things are really looking up. So what's happening, so we have King of Swords here. This um, can be an air sign, so this is another, uh, either another Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, okay? King of Swords is a master of themselves and their environment. So Libra, this month, having that open communication, having that... Um, luminescence that self-love and coming back into yourself you're going to cut through the illusions 
Um, I do feel like this might be a person in your life that you have to have this conversation with um, to really speak up and be your own advocate. For some of you, I feel like there may be a separation occurring in order for you to master your environment because there are some other things that are wanting to come in. Um, but at its base level, you are breaking through the illusions that you have had and coming into mastery of yourself and therefore mastering your environment so that other people um, are also, um, you know, moving correctly in your flow. This is like a go with the flow. So you're balancing out the scales where you have been giving a little bit too much. Um, under Seven of Wands, we have the Emperor. So uh, Libra, I feel like the lessons that you've been having recently has been to help you to be more self-sufficient, financially, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. Um, that even though you can pair with someone else, you've been learning to release some of these emotions so that you can um, be self-sufficient. The Emperor is sign of Aries. It's the, the person who is um, self-sufficient, is you know a business owner in their own right that they have all of their needs taken care of this is an action oriented sign so what spirit's saying is you have been doing the work to um, really be centered in your own self and now this is all going to be aligning for you in the month of october libra so that you're really going to feel like you're in your own power um, the readings this month in october i think the general theme um, so far for earth and air signs has been really getting back into personal sovereignty and personal power. Um, next up is Wheel of Fortune. And this is um, clarified by Ace of Cups. So though this is a general reading, Libra, for those of you that are single or are wishing to change uh, your relationship status, you have Wheel of Fortune and Ace of Cups is a new love coming in. This could be new love as in romantic partnership this could also be love in the sense of you doing what is in your heart that you love in business or um, your health you know this is basically the universe saying my cup is overflowing and it's loving you okay and it's offering universe is offering what you have asked for on a silver platter with the wheel of fortune and with the, the ace of cups okay I do feel like there has been some heavy energy around maybe an ex or an old job or an old something from the past because we have justice, which can also be a Libra card, and we have a ten of wands, okay? And so what this is showing me is that you're going to get justice over that which hurt you, those that have been burdensome to you, those that have stabbed you in the back, the burdens that you've been carrying. You're going to release them as you speak up and communicate um, openly and freely. You're going to release the burdens and you're really going to be shining in your own self, okay? Um, you're really going to be glowing from within because getting this weight off of your chest brings you justice and closure. I feel like this is closure to an old system an old relationship, an old something that you had been holding on to or felt like you didn't get um, to communicate really how you felt. And now this is opening up so that this wheel of fortune can come in for you, so that this new love relationship job can come in for you, okay? And then bottom of the deck is the six of cups, okay? This is happy home, harmony, nostalgia, childhood memories. So the overarching theme is bringing you back to that innocence, bringing you back to, you know, what things made you smile as a child, what things were really good for you. Even some of us didn't have great childhoods, but there's always something beautiful that we're nostalgic about. It could be um, a certain type of food or ice cream or, you know, like it could be um, a song or it could be a certain smell, you know, and what this is showing is that those types of feelings by the end of October are going to be where you are. You're going to be in love with yourself and your environment. You're going to be really vibing in harmony. Um, and that requires you to be open in your communication, to get that weight off of your chest. 
because you're really piercing through the illusions in the month of um, October. I feel like you're going to have some truth revealed to you that you didn't know before that's really going to bring closure to this past um, heartache, this past, um, it's not even heartache, I feel like it's more like disappointment. You know, it's a past situation where you wished it had gone better, but you basically were taking everybody's um, problems on as your own. And the advice from spirit says no. Wait, po postpone, pause, say no. So this is not the month to be moving forward in action. This is the month to really stand in your power. Say no. Open communication. Okay, this is spirit saying, look, Look at this storm, okay? These changes that are taking place, you see the pyramid there and everything, you have the power within you. You have the power to light up this whole world. And it's saying, stand in your power, say no. There's people who have been trying to take advantage of you, Libra, um, whether this be work, relationship, or otherwise. And this is the time for you to say no, to stand in your power, to be that king of swords, to be the master of yourself and your environment, because it's going to bring you this wheel of fortune. It's going to bring you this new um, love. It's going to bring you those happy childhood memories. Um, and it's just going to take that, that step from you that says, no, I put my foot down. I'm not taking that anymore. I'm not going to allow these things to knock me off course because I am blessed. I am well favored. Okay. The universe is really trying to give you something new, um, on your platter. It like just gift you, um, with the desires of your heart. Um, but you have to say no to the things that you don't want. Okay. And walk away from those. Um, but I do think that you'll be victorious in saying no and going through this communication process. Um, but Libra, it looks really good for your birthday. Um, for those of you that have been wanting a new love relationship to come in, this month's looking really good for that. Um, this isn't a love reading, so we'll look further into that when I do the love readings. Um, but yeah, you're just going to be piercing through the, that illusion. And um, I think that truth will set you free. The open communication is going to get a weight off your chest and is going to allow you to have a whole new energy um, that presents itself. Okay. So happy, happy birthday, Libra. Thank you so much. And until next time, aloha.